Okay, you guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. How are y'all? I hope you well. I hope that you are staying safe out there. I hope you're wearing your damn mask. I hope you're washing your hands and washing your faces. Because this COVID shit is real. Okay? It is real. Um, somebody said, ah, ha, 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 I'm not going to worry about that you guys are, um, uh, it's not, it's only affecting black people. Don't be crazy. It's affecting all of us. Now, for those of y'all who want to go back to work and who are actually out here protesting that you have to go back to work and open up the government and now that's okay if you want to do that. If that if that's what you choose to do. But then there are some of you out there with guns and some of you out there with um, Confederate flags and they don't got nothing to do with it. So that goes to show me how psychotic you are. You want to in just you know indulge in hatred. You just want you 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 hypnotize with it. You just want to Ah, you want to fire up because those two things going back to work at COVID and it's not like the government shut the disease shut all this shit down. Okay, the, the government just shut this down. Stupid. The disease shut everything down. Now, what I suggest to you, though, instead of going out there with your flag, with all due respect, why don't you just take a gun? Or take those guns that you out there and out there wielding and trying to intimidate people. And why don't you use them on yourself? That's what you need to do. To me, that would be a better solution to it than standing out in the street with a flag and AK-47. I mean, all that shit is so stupid. And I don't even understand. You know, it's like, what? Dude, people out here dying. They out here dying. And what is wrong with y'all? Y'all got no souls. You are empty inside. You're full of dead man bones. You got nothing inside. Nothing. Because a human being is concerned that this disease is spreading and killing human beings and, and shutting down humanity and making us shut down. You think people uh, want to do this? You think um, the businesses want to close? Open them up. You're going to fall out dead. Go back. All of y'all that don't want to take this stuff serious, then, I mean, I don't understand it. You live by the sword, you're going to die by it. So I tell you what, don't even act and try to intimidate, hold up traffic, run down the street, wave flags, protest for the sake of protesting. All that's ignorance. It's pure and simple. If you want to go out to work and if the store you worked at was closed, go find you another job. Okay? And then just go work there. You don't have to go out there with those signs. Okay? Go somewhere else and pick up some hours. Okay, do that. And maybe you'll be on the front line with, with other people that's taking a risk at this particular time, but whose businesses are deemed them essential workers. Go get a part-time job um, at one of those places. How about that? And get your ass off the streets. Because there's a lot of nastiness going on that you probably caused. Like not washing your legs and um, being real nasty. Um, sleeping with all types of animals and all types of things that probably shouldn't happen. No disrespect. But there's a lot of germs and diseases that uh, uh, y'all have a history of. From the bubonic plague, from coming down from the Caucasoid Mountains. And having the Moors tell you to clean up. And that you got to take a bath more than once a year and stuff. So you have a history of not being the cleanest people. No disrespect. And I really mean this honestly. 
So all of us in the human family have to live with you together. So I don't think it's a problem with people telling you to wash your ass and take care of yourself. And just because you home don't mean you don't have to wash up. Don't mean you don't have to keep your body clean. Nobody should have to tell you that. But if they do, let me be the one. Please do that. Let's try to stop this virus. Okay? Let's try to stop this virus. Because it don't got no feet and legs but ours being ignorant. That's all. So now with that being said, with that being said, I hope to God y'all understand just how I feel about y'all out there in Brookfield with your Confederate flags, y'all out there. That's exactly what I feel about that. You sure stupid. You're just crazy. And you really, really, really need to get your, your, your head right. Because that's not normal. It really not. Your hatred supersedes anything of intelligence. A damn coronavirus wiping uh, people out, countries out. It's pandemic. And you sitting up here talking about you want to go back to work. And then, okay, that's it. I get it. But then you pulling out guns. Dudes, y'all just too much. You're too much. And that is too much. So I thought I had to tell you that. And I... I needed to say that and get that out of me as well. All right? So I'm going to see you in the next video. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. Okay? Especially if you know some nasty people that don't wash their legs and feet and arms and stuff and just want to hurry up and get back outside. And don't feel like they need to clean up while they're on quarantine.